right, Mark oh. Nelson is in today. Pretty crazy stuff. Last week, I don't know if you remember, they cooked a pizza in a car. Oh, I do remember Phoenix. that because I was here last weekend too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. And so this week, um, it's melting shoes. Yeah, and yet we sit here and we, you know, it's like 88 degrees. Okay, it's a I little know. warm. It's a little on the warm side by about five degrees. But look at Seaside. Look how many people are, are down. Nice. What a ocean. nice place to be today. Tomorrow is going to be very different. At Seaside, it'll be windy and rainy at times, and the wind will be coming in from the south like the winter time. So oh uh, we actually have a weather system moving in, which is pretty rare in late July. Don't worry, it's going to go on for one day, folks. Settle the dust, and then we're back to the dry stuff again. So it's going to be a pretty quick change. That's the view from our Discover Newport camera. Same thing in Newport. You'll have the gusty south wind tomorrow. And here in the valleys, it's going to be really nice tomorrow. If you're one of those people that says, I just, I just kind of hide, hide in the house when it gets really warm or, or hot, uh, tomorrow's your day, folks, because you've got clouds, you've got scattered showers, and uh, cooler temps is the big story. So right now we are, we should be 88 degrees in Portland. Oh, 87 degrees. 88 is the high temperature. Really nice evening out there, that's for sure. Okay, so last year at this time, these are the heat waves from last summer. Look at what happened last year, July 24th through the 31st. We had a 92, then we had a 99, then 102, and then 96, another 96, then 100, 102, 98. Then it finally went below 95 degrees, below 90 degrees, I should say. But that was our longest stretch of 95 plus days. I think we had seven days at or above 95. And it was what I recall about that one. It was extremely humid as well. This week looks much better. All right, so we've got some rain tomorrow. Very exciting. I put the exclamation point on since it hasn't rained in almost five weeks. So not a lot of rain. I mean, folks, you're going to keep watering like normal. This is this is just uh, subtle the dust. But cool and showery late morning to midday here in the metro. Anywhere from just five hundredths of an inch, one one hundredth is about enough to wet the street. To maybe two tenths, maybe in a spot or two in the metro by the time we get to uh, uh, tomorrow night into Tuesday morning. So dry the rest of the week. This is a one one shot deal, folks. Cooler nights and mainly sunny days, though, as we go into the rest of the week. No sign of heat on the way. We're going to be probably 80 to 85 degrees for highs probably through next weekend, which takes us right to the end of uh, July. All right. So the timing on this week system. You notice at uh, 6 a.m. it's just arriving on the coastline. We are dry here in the metro at daybreak. Now, as this thing moves on shore, it's weakening as it moves across the coast range. And so the West Metro gets the showers maybe as early as 8 or 9 a.m. West Metro. Light stuff, remember. So East Metro, you've got another hour or two. That includes me. I'm hoping I can get outside and do a few things before the showers arrive by 11 or noon on the east side. This thing is falling apart, never makes it east to the Cascades. In fact, in the Cascades, it's pretty dry. There's a second little wave of showers coming on shore in the afternoon. We'll see if some of that makes it into the East Metro, maybe where it runs into the Cascades tomorrow night and Tuesday morning. Speaking of Tuesday morning, we wake up, it's partly cloudy. It breaks up and that's it. Back to sunshine Tuesday afternoon and uh, Wednesday looks mainly sunny as well. How much rain? Okay, just one guess here. Eh, maybe a tenth of an inch here on average across the metro. Very little to our south and very little to our east. All right, so Portland, light showers late morning and midday. Notice we start dry. It's drying out in the afternoon. There could be a sprinkle in the evening, kind of humidish, even though the high, the high temperature is 75 degrees. It'll be maybe kind of a humid 75 degrees. And then look at that, back to all sunshine and a Tuesday and Wednesday. Nights turn more comfortable after Tuesday morning. We'll start to see lows in the 50s, even in the city, which will be much nicer. And a lot of sunshine and pretty comfortable temps. These are pretty average temps for the last week of uh, July. No heat wave, which I like.